Whoa, what is that? Look at the bottom of that slope. I see it. Is that an animal? Huh. It's a baby bush buck. Look, something attack this. Oh, look at these marks. It definitely was, definitely something bit it. It's bloated. It is bloated. We might not even be able to eat the meat. No, but you know, there's a bunch of other resources. We need everything this thing has to offer. We're aware that whatever chased this animal down this slope could still be around, and we've got to pay attention to the predators. However, we do need to take a moment to obtain what we can. You know, this hand axe is great for larger animals, but for these smaller ones, smaller, sharper tools would be great. I got something. Hold on. Awesome. Homo sapiens were able to see more in a kill than just the immediate need for meat. They understood that they could harvest parts of the animals for uses other than food. All right, you want, to work, you want to work up top here? Yep. I'm trying to keep these organs intact. If we decide not to use them, there's no reason to open up that cavity. Oh, no kidding. Ooh, I, I, I don't want to it. open that cavity. Ooh, yeah, no organs there. This meat smells like it's starting to go off, too. Yeah. Kat and I realized quickly when we get into this animal that there's an odor to this meat. I don't think we're going to be able to eat it. But even if the meat isn't great, there's all kinds of things we can get out of this animal. OK, I'm going to try to get this sinew off. We can have tools, tie with it. This is perfect. I just got to get up underneath here, and we can get it off. I'm going to take a second. Essentially, sinew is, is animal tendon, and, and it occurs on mammals in, in many different places. Uh, our Achilles tendon is an example of, uh, of sinew. We can use the sinew to lash, tie, sew with. We can make strings out of it. Got it. This unique resource is a godsend. This is just as valuable to our ancestors as they are to me and Kat. 